All right, good morning. Good morning to everybody out there. On behalf of the Gifted and Talented Department of Henderson County Schools and South Middle School for being our host, we want to welcome you to the 2024 Henderson County District Spelling Bee. So welcome everybody here. We want to send a special thank you to WSON for broadcasting our spelling bee this year and to, to the Henderson County Public Library for sponsoring that. So we're very thankful that those businesses um, support our students in that way. I am Jennifer Hollis and I'll be your moderator today. Our judges today are Nicole Newland and Kim Pritchett. We're going to start off by presenting the certificates to the runner up and winner from each school. Um, we're going to ask that you all stay on stage for a picture at the end of that. So if you are a runner-up or a winner, when you get your certificate, please remain on stage. And then after that, we'll ask the runners-up to have a seat and we'll um, draw for placement of seating for the winners. Okay? So everyone remain on stage. This is our K-3 through three division of our spelling bee. Later we'll have our 4-5 division and then our middle school division. From A.B. Chandler, runner-up, Heaven Carver. Winner, Johan Bach. From Ben Gate, runner-up, Davis Staten. Winner, Chandler Welty. From K. Rowe, runner-up, Kendra Powell, winner, Easton Stone. From East Heights, runner-up, Caroline Yates, winner, Vincent Farmer. From Jefferson, runner-up, Micaiah Blackston, winner, Jordan Daffron. From Niagara, runner-up, Reese Hawk. Winner, Camden Barkley. From South Heights, runner-up, Andrew Douglas. Winner, Blake Gott. And from Spotsville, runner-up, Reagan Ramsey. Winner, Jackson Speaks. Give us just a moment for pictures and for our placement, our seating placement, and we'll be ready to get started. Thank you. All right, we have a correction on our runner up from Cairo. I apologize, it's Camden Powell, not Kendra. So Camden, congratulations.
Hey, I think we took care of all the certificates, but if you still had a certificate, you could place that under your chair. We do ask that our crowd silence your phones or turn them off as we don't want anything to disrupt our students. And there is class change here at South Middle School, so when that happens, students and parents will pause the B because they do have class change music. We don't want that to interfere with um, your students' spelling. Okay. Students, congratulations, it's amazing. You've made it this far. You competed in your classroom, at your school, and now here for the District B. Just so you know, Ms. Hollis gets nervous too to speak in front of everyone, so just make sure that you're speaking clearly. And I'm gonna go through some, word, some um, rules with you about how the B will work, and if you have any questions, you can ask me those questions before we get started, okay? All right, you have a pencil and paper. We encourage you to use that. You may bring that to the microphone. You may spell the word on the paper and then read it from the paper if you would like. So we encourage you to use that so that you're making sure what you're saying to us is what you want to say to us, okay? It is your responsibility to ask if you need a word repeated, if you need it used in a sentence, or if you need a definition or part of speech of that word. If it is a near homonym, I will give you those those. Um, definitions and parts of speech, but it is ultimately your responsibility if you don't understand what I said to repeat that to me so then I can repeat it back to you so that you are hearing what I am saying, okay? Um, we do encourage you to, to uh, repeat the word before you spell it. For example, let's say I said cat, but you may have thought I said cap. Repeat cat to me and I'll say yes cat and then you can spell that to me if by chance you say c-a-p but it was supposed to be c-a-t and you start over we do have to take what you said first okay so that is why we encourage you to use your paper and pencil okay speak very clearly and slowly into the microphone you can adjust the microphone up and down so that it's it's right where you need it to be so we can hear you, okay? Um, if you are out and around, if you misspell a word, we do ask you to remain on the stage. At the end of that round, once everybody's finished in that round, we'll have you just scoot your chair back, but you won't leave the stage, okay? All right. When we get down to two students, um, they, the, and let's say that first student misspells a word, the second student must spell their word correctly and then spell a championship word also correctly. If that student misspells that, we'll go back into another round and I'll explain that more when we get down to two students. Does anyone have any questions for us before we get started? This is a great time to ask. Okay, we are going to do a practice round first so that you get used to using the microphone and coming up in front of everyone. Um, these words do not count against you, so if you were to misspell a word in the practice round, you are not eliminated, okay? All right, so speller number one, Camden. I'm going to head up to the microphone. All right, Camden, pay. Okay, we're going to have you move around, and Miss, Kim, Miss Bridget's going to help you there with that. And this is good for the practice round. And the word is pay. I would like you to pay for your candy in coins. Pay. P-A-Y. Correct. Blake. Hill. H-I-L-L. -L. Correct. And as you're coming up, you want to make sure that you are facing the judges and myself as we are the ones making sure that we're hearing and seeing what you're saying correctly, okay? All right, Vinny. Keep. Mm. 
Use it in a sentence. I would like to keep my paper with me. Keep. K E E P. Correct. Easton. Path. P A T H. Correct. Tent. Can you use that in a sentence? When I go camping, I like to stay in a tent. T E N T. Correct. Sick. What? Sick. Sick. S I C K. Correct. Boat. B O A T. Correct. Trim. Definition? To cut or shorten, to make it neater or more regular. Trim. T-R-I-M. Correct. Okay, that was the end of our practice round. Making sure that you're speaking as closely and clearly into that microphone as possible and making sure that you ask me for clarification if you don't understand what I've said or if you need that definition or part of speech, okay? All right, this will start round one. Also, Ms. Hollis won't call your name every time to come up. When, it's your, when you're next, once that person has been seated, you may come up to the microphone. Okay, are we ready? All right, let's go. Round one. This word has a near homonym, gum. I'm looking for the word that means a rubbery, sweetened substance made for chewing, gum. G U M. Correct. Hat. H A T. Correct. This word could be confused with a similar word, cool. I'm looking for the word that means between slightly warm and cold, cool. Using the sentence. The water was a little too cool for swimming, cool. Correct. Yeah. Milk. M I L K. Correct. This word has a homonym boil. I'm looking for the word that means to heat until it bubbles. Boil. B O I L. Correct. This word could be confused with a similar word, fuss. I'm looking for the word that means unnecessary excitement or noisy confusion, fuss. F-U-S-S. -S. Correct. Storm. S-T-O-R-M. Correct. This word could be confused with a similar word, risk. I'm looking for the word that means to expose to danger, risk. R-I-S-K. Correct. All right, starting round two. Hook. Devin took off his coat and hung it on the hook by the front door. Hook. H-O-O-K. Correct. J. 
chip. C-H-I-P. Correct. This word could be confused with a similar word, tummy. I'm looking for the word that means abdomen, belly, or stomach. Tummy. T-U-M-M-Y. Correct. Pink. P-I-N-K. Correct. Helper. Can you use it in a sentence, please? The students all took turns being classroom helper, assisting Mrs. Vale with different tasks. Helper. H-E-L-P-E-R. Correct. This word has a near homonym, ruby. I'm looking for the word that means a valuable red gemstone. Ruby. R-U-B-Y. Correct. This word has a homonym, days. I'm looking for the word that means to stun with shock or by a hit. Days. D-A-Y-S. That is incorrect. It is D-A-Z-E. This word could be confused with a similar word, supper. I'm looking for the word that means the evening meal, supper. S U P P E R. Correct. Okay, if you're out in that round, you may scoot your chair back. Just scoot it back behind the row. And we'll start round three. Pancake. For breakfast, Jack had one banana pancake, some bacon, and a fried egg. Pancake. P-A-N-C-A-K-E. Correct. Apple. A-P. P L E. Correct. Crown. Here's the name of the sentence. The king wore a large gold crown covered in jewels. Crown. C R O W N. Correct. Piglet. P-I-G-L-E-T. Correct. Anyway. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Mrs. Jones told the students that they could draw their self-portrait any way they wanted. Anyway. A-N-Y-W-A-Y. Correct. Yarn. Y A R N. Correct. Envy. Definition The feeling of wanting to have something another person has. Envy. I-N-V-Y. That is incorrect. It is E-N-V-Y.
Okay, if you misspelled a word in that round, I ask you to scoot your chair back behind the row. Thank you so much. Mitten. When the snow melted, Liam found a single mitten lying on the brown grass. Mitten. M-I-T-T-E-N. Correct. Snail. S-N-A-I-L. Correct. This word could be confused with a similar word, cheery. I'm looking for the word that means showing or causing happy feelings. Cheery. Use it in a sentence. Renzo's cheery manner was contagious and caused everyone to smile. Cheery. Correct. Idea. I D E A. Correct. Okay, we're going to pause for a second because the bell has rung for class change, so give us just a minute and we'll start back after the music.
Okay, we may resume. This word has a near homonym, bloom. I'm looking for the word that means to produce flowers, bloom. B-L-O-O-M. Correct. Oily. O-I-L-Y. Correct. Baseball. B A S E B A L L. Correct. Quart. This has a similar word. I'm looking for the word that means a container with the ability to hold an amount of liquid equal to two U.S. pints. Quart. Q U A R T. Correct. This word has a homonym, pear. I'm looking for the word that means a sweet fruit that is narrow at one end and bigger and rounded at the other and that grows on trees. Pear. Correct. Banjo. B A N J O. Correct. Nobody. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Piper called her friend's house, but nobody was home. Nobody. Correct. Ouch. O U C H. Correct. Beginning round five. Round six. I apologize. Round six. Your word is campus. Jessica and her friends hung out on campus between classes. Campus. C A M P A S S. That is incorrect. It is C A M P U S. This word could be confused with a similar word, solid. I'm looking for the word that means having no open space inside. Solid. S-O-L-I-D. Correct. This word has a homonym, timber. I'm looking for the word that means wood prepared for use as building material. Timber. Use it in a sentence. The timber used for Mr. Bowling's wood floors was imported from Brazil. Timber. P I M B E R. That is correct. Dentist. D E N T I S T. Correct. Months. Can you use that in a sentence, please? School was out for the entire months of June and July, as well as a few weeks in August. Months. Correct. Talent. T 
A L E N T. Correct. Okay, if you were out in that round, please scoot your chair back. Thank you so much. We're starting round seven. Visit. V I S I T. Correct. Daydream. Use it in a sentence. While in class, the twins often daydream about scuba diving in Fiji with their parents. Daydream. D A Y D R E A M. Correct. This word has a homonym, comb. I'm looking for the word that means a thin strip of plastic or other material that has teeth and is used to brush, style, or decorate hair. Comb. C-O-M-E. That's incorrect. It is C-O-M-B. This word has a near homonym, gather. I'm looking for the word that means to bring together into a crowd or group, gather. G-A-T-H-E-R. Correct. Along. What? Along. A-L-O-N. Correct. Beginning round eight. Trendy. T R E N D I N G. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It is T-R-E-N-D-Y. Uncle. Use it in a sentence. Sonia's uncle is a famous politician. Uncle. U-N-C-L-E. Correct. Protect. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Baseball stadiums have a net hung behind home plate to help protect fans from foul balls. Protect. P R O T E C T. Correct. Eleven. L-E-V-E-N. Correct. If you misspelled a word in that round, please scoot your chair back. We're beginning round nine. Lobster. Use it in a sentence. Kyle enjoys eating lobster tail with lots of lemon and butter. Lobster. L O B S T E R. Correct. This word has a near homonym, screech. I'm looking for the word that means a loud, high pitched yell that usually expresses fear or pain. Screech. C-R-E-E-C-H. Correct. This word has a homonym, carrot. I'm looking for the word that means a long orange or yellow root, often eaten as a vegetable. Carrot.
C A R R O T. Correct. Starting round 10. This word could be confused with a similar word, heavy. I'm looking for the word that means having great weight. Heavy. H-E-A-V-Y. Correct. Dodge. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Daryl just managed to dodge the ball that Matt threw at him. Dodge. D-O-D-G-E. Correct. Together. T-O-G-E-T. H E R. Correct. All right, beginning round 11. I'm here. This word has a homonym, chance. I'm looking for the word that means opportunity. Chance. C-H-A-N-C-E. That's correct. Backdrop. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Suddenly, in the middle of the play, the backdrop fell down onto the stage. Backdrop. B A C K D R O P. Correct. Thumb. T H U M B. Correct. Beginning round twelve. Silver. Use it in a sentence. Gavin wore a chain made of silver around his neck for luck during his swim meets. Silver. S-I-L-V-E-R. Correct. Bakery. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Austin insisted on a cake from his favorite bakery every year on his birthday. Bakery. B-A-K-E-R-Y. Correct. Dishes. Correct. Beginning around 13. Curved. Using in a sentence. Patrick curved his bike to the left to avoid the pothole in the road. Curved. C-U-R-V-E-D. Correct. Porch. Can you use it in a sentence? 
Adrian enjoyed sitting on his porch in the summer and watching thunderstorms. Porch. P-O-R-C-H. Correct. This word has a homonym, leaky. I'm looking for the word that means allowing a liquid to enter or escape through a hole. Leaky. Correct. Beginning round 14. Interact. Use it in a sentence. The shelter's new program allowed citizens to interact with animals on a regular basis. Interact. I-N-T-E-R-A-C-T. Correct. This word has a homonym, sign. I'm looking for the word that means a board on a building that tells the name and type of business. Sign. S-I-G-N. Correct. This word has a homonym, forward. I'm looking for the word that means to or toward what is before or in front. Forward. F-O-R-W-A-R-D. Correct. Round 15. Arcade. Correct. Hitched. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Gianna hitched her kayak to the top of the truck with a rope. Hitched. H I T C H E D. Correct. Chamber. C-H-A-M-B-E-R. Correct. Beginning around 16, botch. Use it in a sentence. Denali didn't want to botch her science experiment, so she did research and asked for help. Botch. B-O-T-C-A. Correct. This word has a near homonym, seaweed. I'm looking for the word that means a type of algae that grows in the sea. Seaweed. S-E-A-W-E-E-D. Correct. Danger. Correct. Beginning around 17. Banter. Use it in a sentence. The banter between the two sisters had everyone laughing. Banter. B A N T E R. Correct. Erode. Can you use 
that in a sentence, please? The river will erode the rock until a deep canyon is formed. Erode. Correct. Vanity. Could you repeat that? Vanity. Vanity. Oh, okay. V-A-N-I-T-Y. Correct. Beginning around 18. This word has a near homonym, skewer. I'm looking for the word that means a pin of wood or metal for fastening meat to keep in form while roasting or to hold small pieces of meat and vegetables for broiling. Skewer. Use it, use it as a sentence. Maggie put pieces of steak and vegetables on the skewer. Skewer. Correct. Private. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Julia warned Amani that the information she was about to share was private. Private. P R I V A T E. Correct. Truffle. What? Truffle. Truffle. Oh, okay. T R U F F L E. Correct. Beginning round nineteen. Rescue. Use it in a sentence. Bianca had to rescue Bernard after he locked himself in the closet. Rescue. R E S C U E. Correct. Multiple. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Multiple students listed Beyonce as their favorite singer. Multiple. M U L T I P L E. Correct. Await. W A I T. Correct. Beginning round 20. This word could be confused with a similar word, puffin. I'm looking for the word that means a black and white seabird with a short neck and a colorful bill, puffin. Use it in a sentence. Miss Stanwick said that Millie's painting of a puffin on a rock was very well done. Puffin. P U F F I N. Correct. <coughs> Abandon. Can you use that in a sentence, please? The approaching army forced many people to abandon their homes. Abandon. A, B, A, N, D, O, N. Correct. Correct. 
This word has a homonym, blouse. I'm looking for the word that means a usually more formal shirt for women or girls, blouse. B-L-O-U-S-E. Correct. Beginning round 21, charity. C-H-A-R-I-T-Y. Correct. Pixel. P-I-X-E-L. Correct. Wallow. W A L L O W. Correct. Beginning round twenty two. Nectarine. Use it in a sentence. Jason ate a nectarine as a light after school snack. Nectarine. N-E-C-T-O-R-I-N-E. That is incorrect. It is N-E-C-T-A-R-I-N-E. Tongue. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Dimitri stuck his tongue out as his little sister, at his little sister when his mom wasn't looking. Tongue. T O N G U E. Correct. This word has a homonym, tussle. I'm looking for the word that means to struggle or to fight. Tussle. T-U-S-T-L-E. That is incorrect. It is T-U-S-S-L-E. Okay, because that was our last two students, Jordan must spell. We got a Okay, because that Jordan spelled his word correctly, and Johan did not. We will go to the championship word. So Jordan, you must spell this word correctly. If you do not, we will go back into another round with the last two contestants. Okay. Your word is majestic. M A J E S T I C. Correct. So we have a unique situation where we have two runners up because they were out in the same round. So we must have a um, spell off, I guess you could say, for the runner up place. But congratulations to our winner. We already gave him a round of applause. Jordan, good job. So between Vinny and Johan, we will have a spell off for runner up. Okay?
All right. So this would be round 23. And Benny, or 24, I apologize. Benny, you are up. Fluency. Use it in a sentence. Mr. T spoke with such fluency that Anne didn't realize English was his second language. Fluency. F L U E N C Y. Correct. Widget. W I D G E T. Correct. Vinny, you're up. Parched. Use it in a sentence. The long drought left the farmer's fields parched and brown. Parched. P A R C H E D. Correct. Ovation. that in a sentence, please. Josiah received a standing ovation for his moving speech. Ovation. O-V-A-T-I-O-N. Correct. Hoodwink. Use it in a sentence. The email was a scam designed to hoodwink store customers. Hoodwink. H-O-O-D-W-I-N-K. There's no way. There's no way. What? Can you spell that again, please? Spell it one more time. H-O-O-D-W-I-N-K. Correct. <laughs> right. Traverse. What? Traverse. T R A V E R S E. Correct. Round 26, merely. N-E-A-R-L-Y. That's incorrect, it is M-E-R-E-L-Y. Wait, I thought you said nearly. I thought you said nearly. You have to ask Ms. Hollis for pronunciation or for uh, clarity, I apologize. Balance. Balance. B A L E N C E. That is incorrect. It is B A L A N C E. That was round 27, so we will begin round 28. Mansion. 
Uses a sentence. Local children refuse to go near the reportedly haunted mansion on the hill. Mansion. M A N S I O N. Correct. Available. A V A L I B L E. That's incorrect. It is A V. A I L A B L E. All right, Vinny, you'll have to spell this word correctly to be considered the runner up. If not, we'll go back into another round, okay? Okay. Your word is artistic. Using a sentence. Maggie was very artistic with her painting. Artistic. A R T I S T I C. Correct. I think that's the most grueling round of, of spelling bee that I've experienced. Um, excellent job to all of our students up here. It's very difficult for them to get up and do this um, in front of everyone. So let's give them another round of applause for all of our students. So we will have trophy presentations for our runner up and our winner. And after that, we'll begin our 4 or 5 B. It's proud. So our runner-up for a K-3-3-B from East Heights Elementary is Vinnie Farmer. And the winner for a K-3-3-B from Jefferson Elementary Jordan Daffron. Okay, you may leave your pencils and papers in your chairs and you may exit the stage. Thank you all and great job once again.
for our four, five, fourth and fifth grade division of our spelling bee today. On behalf of the gifted and talented department and our host South Middle School, we wanna welcome you here. We also wanna give a special thank you to WSON and the Henderson County Public Library for sponsoring our event today and live streaming it. So students all over the district and um, family members who could not be here are watching from home or from school. So that is, that's a great thing. I'm Jennifer Hollis, I'll be your moderator. Our judges today are Kim Pritchett and Nicole Newland. We're gonna start off by presenting certificates for runners up and winners. We ask that they all stay on stage for a picture and then once we've taken that picture, we'll have um, the winners draw for their seating and have the runner-up sit, um, come back to the auditorium. We ask that you silence your phones throughout the, the whole um, event as that is distracting to the spellers. Runner-up from Spotsville, Miles Brown. Winner, Caroline Fish. Runner-up from South Heights, Arabella Roper. Winner, Daylin Smith. From Niagara, runner-up, Brandon Schneider. Winner, Kiara Jackson. From Jefferson, runner-up, Leo Glick. Winner, Elwood Tabor. From East Heights, runner-up, Chloe Grossman. Winner, Max Curry. From Cairo, Runner-up, Callie Hayden. Winner, Bailey Willett. From Ben Gate, runner-up, Lakin Weiser. Winner, Bracken Welty. And from A.B. Chandler, runner-up, Gemma Parker. Winner, Tanner Duncan. If you see a misspelling on your certificate, we are going to correct those for you and send you a new certificate. So once we have taken pictures, we'll draw for their seating um, order for the B and then we'll get started.
Okay, we are going to go over some rules for the spelling bee. And if you have any questions at the end, please ask me, okay, so that we can clarify that before we get started. Okay, you all have a pencil and paper. We encourage you to use that. You may bring that to the microphone and use it at the microphone to spell your word and then read from that. It is your responsibility to ask if you need a word repeated or clarified. If you thought I said one word but you weren't sure, you need to ask me to repeat it and I will do that. If you need it used in a sentence, need the definition or part of speech, it is your responsibility to do that. If it is a homonym, I will begin by telling you that and giving you the definition. But ultimately, it is your responsibility to ask for clarity or ask for understanding. We encourage you to repeat the word before you spell it so that you truly have the word that I've said. Again, that can be hard to hear or confusing. So, for example, if I say cat, you repeat back to me, cat, and then I will say, yes, cat. If I give you the word cat, but you thought I said cap, and you say C-A-P-O, I mean C-A-T, we have to take what you said first. So we can't allow you to repeat a different, um, a different word. Please speak very clearly into the microphone. You may adjust the microphone to fit your height, but it is very important that you speak clearly, slowly, and into the microphone so that we understand exactly what you're wanting us to hear. If you do misspell a word in a round, you'll just have a seat up here on the stage and then we'll ask you to just scoot your chair back for the remainder of the spelling bee, but you won't leave the stage, you'll stay on the stage. If there is a class change, we will pause the bee for the bell and for the class change music before we resume. And then once we get down to two students, I will go over the rules for that then as well. But you must spell your word for the round, and then you must spell your championship word. So if you're the last one, you must spell that round's word, but also spell a championship word to be declared the winner. Does anyone have questions? Yes, ma'am. Okay. She said technically no, but if you do, that's fine. Good question. Anyone else? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. We probably won't run into that situation, but yes. Any other questions? These are great. Okay. We will start with a practice round. Words spelled correctly or incorrectly in this round are okay, it's okay, you're not eliminated from the B. We do this to practice with the microphone and to get you used to getting up in front of everyone. So we will begin with our practice round, Kiera. Your word is yard. Y-A-R-D. Correct. Tanner. Game. Game. G A M E. Correct. Hope. H O P E. Correct. Max. Mm-hmm. Lake. L A K E. Correct. Sold. S O L D. Correct. Yep, there you go. King. King, K-I-N-G. Correct. Just. 
J U S T. Correct. Even. Even. E V E N. Correct. Okay, so just a reminder that was our practice round. Please speak clearly into the microphone. Adjust the microphone if you need to, and make sure we can hear what you're wanting us to hear, okay? All right, we will begin with round one. I won't call you up individually each time, just as that person has been seated. You're up next. Round one. Portions. Can you use that in a sentence? Mary divided the dough into equal portions for her children to need. Portions. P O R T I O N S. Correct. Voyage. Voyage. V O Y A G E. Correct. Funnel. Funnel. F U N N E L. Correct. Gravely. Can you say that again, please? Gravely, gravely. Could you use that in a sentence? Phoebe's leg was gravely injured when she fell from the tree. Gravely. G R A V E L Y. Correct. Clients. C L I E N T S. Correct. Quality. Quality. Q U A L I T Y. Correct. Classical. Repeat. Classical. C L A S S I C A L. Correct. Delicate. Delicate. D E L I C A T E. Correct. Getting round two. Far fetched. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Hunter wondered where her friend came up with the far fetched idea to teach her fish to play the bongos. Far fetched. F A R. F-E-T-C-H-E-D. Correct. Annual. Annual. A-N-N-U-A-L. Correct. Creation. C-R-E-A-T-I-O-N. 
E A T I O N. Correct. Wistfully. Can you say that again, please? Wistfully. Could you uh, say that in a sentence? Mrs. Jenkins told her grandchildren wistfully about her youth. Wistfully. W I S T F U L L Y. Correct. Bargain. B A R G E N. That's incorrect. It is B A R G A I N. Saucepan. Definition? A deep cooking utensil with a long handle used for stewing or boiling. Saucepan. Saucepan? Saucepan. S A U C E P A N. Correct. Dignified. Definition? Showing or expressing formality, seriousness, and self-confidence in appearance, manner, or language. Dignified. 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 D-I-G-N-I-F-I-E-D. -I -I -E Correct. Unbearable. Losing the big game to their school rival was almost unbearable. 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 U-N-B-E-R-A-B-L-E. -E. That was incorrect. It was U-N-B-E-A-R-A-B-L-E. If you misspell a, a word in round two, please just scoot your chair back, but remain on the stage. Beginning round three. Vinegar. Can you use that in a sentence? John enjoyed making his own pickles using cucumbers, vinegar, salt, and spices. Vinegar. V I N A G E R. That is incorrect. It is V I N E G A R. Initials. Initials. I N I T I A L S. Correct. Initials. Dumb waiter. Can you repeat the word? 
dumb waiter, dumb waiter. D U M B W A I T E R. Correct. Lounge. Can you say that again, please? Lounge, lounge. Can you say that in a sentence? Ava's plans for the day were to lounge around the house until her mom caught her and made her do chores. Lounge. L O U N G E. Correct. Elwood. This word has a homonym, terrier. I'm looking for the word that means a type of small dog, now mainly kept as a pet, but originally used for hunting. Terrier. Terrier. T-E-R-R-I-E-R. Correct. Boastful. Definition. Given to or marked by bragging, puffed up, boastful. B O A S T F U L. Correct. Okay, please scoot your chair back if you misspelled within that round. We're beginning round four. Dana. Oyster. Oyster. O Y S T E R. Correct. Justify. J U S T I F Y. Correct. Trapeze. Can you say that again, please? Trapeze. Trapeze. Definition. A gymnastic or acrobatic apparatus consisting of a short horizontal bar suspended by two parallel ropes. Trapeze. T-R-A-P-E-E-S-E. That is incorrect. It is T-R-A-P-E-Z-E. Elwood? Honorable... Definition. Ethical, upright, characterized by integrity. Honorable. Honorable. H O 
H-O-N-E-R-A-B-L-E. That is incorrect. It is H-O-N-O-R-A-B-L-E. Whirlwind. Repeat. Whirlwind. Whirlwind. Definition. A small rotating windstorm of limited or localized extent marked by upward spiral motion, a vortex of air, whirlwind. Whirlwind. W H I R L W I N D. Correct. Beginning round five. Institute. Institute. I N S T I T U T E. Correct. Composure. C O M P O. S E R? It's incorrect. It is C O M P O S U R E. Wield. Definition Use a tool or instrument, especially with full commander power. Wield. 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 Use it in a sentence. The scene in the movie in which the firefighters wield their tanks and hoses is very exciting to Gavin. Wield. W I E L D. Correct. If you misspelled a word in that round, please scoot your chair back. We're going to pause there, Tanner, for the class change, and we'll be right back. And then we'll resume after the, the um, class change music. Since there are two spellers, if one of you spells a word wrong within a round, then that person would have to spell their next word correctly plus a championship word. If they spelled that incorrectly, we would go back to the last round, which would, re which would be both of those last two students back in that round, and we would start over. Okay? We'll start after the class change.
Okay, we will begin round six. Substantial. Substantial. S U B S T A N T I A L. Correct. Punitive. Repeat. Punitive. Punitive. Sentence. The defendant was required to pay punitive damages after being convicted. Punitive. 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 P U N I T I V E. Correct. Convertible. Convertible. C O N V E R T I B L E. Correct. Remembrance. Repeat. Remembrance, remembrance. Definition. An act or thing honoring the memory of a person or event. Remembrance. 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 Could you use it in a sentence? The students planted a tree at the school in remembrance of those whose lives were lost in the September 11th terrorist attacks. Remembrance. Remembrance. R-E-M-E-M-B-E-R-A-N-C-E. That is incorrect. It is R-E-M-E-M-B-R-A-N-C-E. Okay, Tanner, this is going to be the championship word. If you spell it correctly, you become the winner. If not, we go into another round. Your word is tedious. Tedious. T-E-E-T-I-O-U-S. Tedious. It was T-E-D-I-O-U-S. So we will go into another round. Round seven, round eight. Okay, we would start a new round, so Tanner, you're back up. Your word is volatile. Could you repeat? Volatile, volatile. Volatile. V O L O T I L E. That's incorrect. It is V O A, excuse me, V O L A T I L E. Physicist. Physicist, P-H-Y-S-I-S-I-S-T. That is incorrect. It is P-H-Y-S-I-C-I-S-T. Round nine. Cyclical. Cyclical. S-I-C-L-I-C. O-L-E. That's incorrect. It is C-Y-C-L-I-C-A-L. This word has a near, near homonym, heiress. 
I'm looking for the word that means a female who inherits or is entitled to inherit great wealth. Heiress. Sentence. Antoine, Antony, Antoine, dreamed that he married an heiress and moved to an island. Heiress. A-R-I-S. It's incorrect. It is H-E-I-R-E-S-S. -S. Round 10. Nine. Enlightenment. Enlightenment. E N L I G H T E N M E N T. Correct. Promulgate. Repeat. Promulgate. 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 P R O M E L G A T E. That is incorrect. It is P R O. M U L G A T E. Okay, Tanner, this would be the championship word. If you spell it correctly, you become the winner. If not, we would go back into another round. Your word is stampede. Stampede. S T A M P E D E. Correct. Let's give all of our spellers a round of applause. Very difficult to come in front of us and then everyone watching to spell for the spelling bee. We will hand out our trophies now to our runner up and our winner. Our runner-up from Bingate Elementary, Bracken Welty. We'll get some pictures made, too. And our winner from A.B. Chandler Elementary, Tanner Duncan. get some pictures made and then we'll start our middle school B.
Okay, welcome back to our sixth through eighth grade division of our district spelling bee, Henderson County Schools District Spelling Bee. On behalf of the Gifted and Talented Department and South Middle School, our host, we welcome you to our spelling bee. We want to send out a special thank you to WSON and the Henderson County Public Library for their support of our students through this spelling bee. I'm Jennifer Hollis. I'll be your moderator for today. Our judges are Nicole Newland and Kim Pritchett. We have already taken our picture for our runners up and winners. So we're going to present them with their certificates and then we'll get started with our rules and our spelling bee. From North Middle School, sixth grade, runner up Emma Summers. You may come up and get your certificate. Winner Lucas Mueller. North Middle School, 7th grade, runner-up, Ava Mills, winner, Chris Joseph. From North Middle School, 8th grade, runner-up, Callie Burnett, winner, Abigail Vaughn. From South Middle School, 6th grade, runner-up, Ollie Downs, winner, Zachary Rustin. South Middle School, seventh grade, runner up, Isaac Phillips, winner, Carmen Chester. South Middle School, eighth grade, we will have both of our runners up competing as our winner was unable to compete, his name was Colton Dawsett. Our runners-up are Kirsten DeHaven and Levi Green. You may place your certificates under your seat so that they'll be out of your way. And we ask everyone in the crowd to silence their phones. Okay, we're gonna go over some rules before we get started. You have a notepad and a pencil to use. You may bring that to the microphone to use and we encourage you to do that. It is your responsibility to ask if you need a word repeated, used in a sentence, the definition, or part of speech. If that word is a homonym, I will offer the definition to you, but it's ultimately your responsibility to make sure you're hearing what I'm saying, that we, have, we are on the same word, and that you ask for clarity if need be. I encourage you to repeat the word before you spell it. For example, if I give the word cat, you would say cat back to me, and I would say yes, cat. If you say the word is cat and you say C-A-P, oh, I meant C-A-T, we have to take the first thing that you said, so that would be incorrect. Again, we remind you to speak very clearly, adjust the microphone as you need it, up or down, and speak slowly and clearly into the mic so that we can understand you. If you do misspell a word during a round, we ask you to remain seated on the stage. Then we'll ask that person to scoot their chair backwards out of the line, but remain on stage for the remainder of the spelling bee. We will pause for class change. And once we get down to the last two students in the bee, and one of those misspells a word, the other would have to spell their word correctly, plus a championship word to be declared the winner. Ollie, do you have a question? Okay, well you'll get to go to lunch as soon as the bee is over, okay? All right, you may place your certificate under your chair. We will do a practice round before the actual bee starts. That will not um, eliminate you from the round even if you misspell that word. Any questions before we get started? Okay, this will be our practice round. Levi, you may come up to the microphone. Practice round, yep. Yes, you're good. Your word is carry. Carry, C-A-R-R-Y, carry. Correct. Yes. 
So when you come to the microphone, make sure you're facing um, the judges and myself so we can see what you're saying and hear you more clearly. Mind. Correct. Holly, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. so you're going to come to the microphone. Speak clearly into the microphone. Salt. S A L T. Salt. Yes, that is correct. City. City. C I T Y. Correct. Eggs. Eggs. E G G S. Eggs. Correct. Away. Away. A W A Y. Correct. Lunch. Lunch. L U N C H. Correct. Happy. Happy. H A P P Y. Happy. Correct. Grapes. Grapes. G R A P E S. Correct. Dirt. Dirt. D I R T. Correct. <coughs> Spin. Spin. S P I N. Spin. Correct. Bugs. 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 B U G S. Correct. Okay, that's the end of our practice round. I just remind you to adjust the microphone if you need to. Speak clearly into the microphone, and you need to be pretty close to it for us to be able to hear you. Okay? Anybody have any questions before we get started? Okay, we will start with round one. Levi, you're up. This word could be confused with a similar word, vertical. I'm looking for the word that means perpendicular to the plane of the horizon or to a primary axis, upright, vertical. <clears throat> vertical. V E R T I C A L, vertical. Correct. This word has a homonym. I'm looking for the word that means a fruit that is hard shelled, inedible, and used often for decoration, and that comes from a vine. Gourd. I'm looking for the word gourd. Or G O U R D. Correct. This word could be confused with a similar word, linen. I'm looking for the word that means a strong cloth made of flax, noted for its strength and coolness, but that wrinkles easily. Linen. Oh. L I N E N. I probably spelled that wrong. That is correct. Oh. 
This word has a near homonym, cathedral. I'm looking for the word that means a church that was once a bishop's church. Cathedral. Cathedral. C A T H E D R A L. Correct. Perimeter. Perimeter. P E R I M E T E R. Perimeter. Correct. Concise. Concise. C O N S I S E. That is incorrect. It is C O N C I S E. Kirsten. Naturalist. Naturalist. N A T U R A L I S T. Correct. Fervently. Can you repeat that, please? Fervently. Fervently. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Christopher spoke fervently about his desire for more dessert and fewer vegetables at every meal. Fervently. 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 F. E R V E N T L Y. Correct. <coughs> Pitiful. Pitiful. B I T I F U L. Correct. Spatula. Can you repeat that? Spatula, spatula. Spatula. S P a T U L A. Correct. Oblivious. Oblivious. O B L I V I O U S. Correct. Unappealing. 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 Unappealing, U-N-A-P-P-E-A-L-I-N-G. Correct. Round two. Satchel. Can you 
repeat that? Satchel, satchel. Satchel, S-A-T-C-H-E-L, satchel. Correct. Diligent. Can you repeat that? Diligent, diligent. Can you use that in the sentence? Despite his diligent study habits, Hunter always panics at exam time. Diligent. Diligent, or diligent. D-I-L-I-G-E-N-T. Correct. Ollie. This word could be confused with a similar word, pensive. I'm looking for the word that means absorbed or engrossed in or given to sober thoughtfulness. Pensive. Uh, P-E-N-S-I-V-E. Correct. Tuition. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Amy won several scholarships to help pay the cost of his college tuition. 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 T-U-I-T-I-O-N. Correct. This word has a homonym, herring. I'm looking for the word that means a food fish that is often eaten smoked or salted or preserved as sardines. Herring. Herring. H H E R R I N G. Herring. Correct. Orchestra. O-R-C-H-A-S-T-R-A. That's incorrect. It is O-R-C-H-E-S-T-R-A. Arduous. Can you repeat that? Arduous. Arduous. Arduous or arduist? Arduous. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Alan began the arduous journey task of planning every aspect of his family's annual vacation. Arduous. Arduous. A R G U I S E. Arduous. I'm sorry, it is A R D U O U S. This word could be confused with a similar word, forfeit. I'm looking for the word that means to lose the right to something because of an error, fault, offense, or crime. Forfeit. Forfeit. F-O-R-F-E-I-T. Correct. Mastiff. This word could be confused with a similar word. I'm looking for the word that means a very large, powerful dog used chiefly as a watchdog and guard dog. Mastiff. Mastiff. M A S T I F. That is incorrect. It is M A S T I F F. Armadillo. Armadillo. A R M A D I L L O. That's correct. (laughs) 
Reggae. Can you repeat that? Reggae. Reggae. Definition. Popular music of Jamaican origin that combines indigenous styles with elements of rock and soul music. Reggae. R-E-G-G-E-E. -E. That is incorrect. It is R-E-G-G-A-E. -E. If you misspelled a word in that round, you may scoot your chair back. We will begin round three. This word has a homonym, tortoise. I'm looking for the word that means a turtle used especially of land-dwelling turtles. Tortoise. T-O-R-T-O-I-S-E, tortoise. Correct. Zodiac. Zodiac, Z-O-D-I-A-C. Correct. Antidote. Um, antidote. A A T E D O T E. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It is A N T I D O T E. Emperor. Can you use it in a sentence, please? George the Sixth was the last British king to be called Emperor of India. Emperor. Emperor. E M P E R O R. Correct. Hovel. Can you repeat that? Hovel. Hovel. Can I get, can I get a definition? A small, shabby house or hut. Hovel. Correct. Resonate. We'll pause there, Christopher. Resonate. Resonate. R E S O N A T E. Correct. Derelict. Derelict, D-A-R-E-L-I-C-T. This is incorrect, it is D-E-R-E-L-I-C-T. 
If you misspelled a word in that round, please push your chair backwards. Beginning round four. Nonviolent. Nonviolent. N O N V I O L E N T. Nonviolent. Correct. This word has a homonym, discreetly. I'm looking for the word that means in a tactful manner, discreetly. Discreetly, D-I-S-C-R-E-T-E-L-Y. That is incorrect. It is D-I-S-C-R-E-E-T-L-Y. Charismatic. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Mrs. Mr. Brown's charismatic teaching style inspired his students to put in extra effort on their assignments. Charismatic. Charismatic. C H A R I S M A T I C. Correct. Servitude. Servitude. S E-R-V-I-T-U-D-E, servitude. Correct. Tremendous. Tremendous. T R A M E N D O U S. That is incorrect. It is T R E M E N D O U S. If you misspelled a word in that round, please scoot your chair backwards. Prosthetic. Prosthetic. P R O S T H E T I C. Prosthetic. Correct. Petrifying. Can you use it in a sentence, please? In Greek mythology, the Gorgon Medusa had a nasty habit of petrifying anyone who looked at her face. Petrifying. Petrifying. P. E T R I F Y I N G. Correct. Artillery. Um, can you use it in a sentence? The ship's artillery bombarded the beaches before troops began their invasion. Artillery. Artillery. A-R-T-I-L-A-R-Y. Artillery. That is incorrect. It is A-R-T-I-L-L-E-R-Y. Okay, so we are down to two spellers. Okay, 
if one of you misspell within that round, the other one would have to spell their word correctly and then a championship word to be declared the winner. If you were to spell either one of those incorrectly, we would start back with another round with the last two. Okay? Round six. This word has a near homonym, oracle. I'm looking for the word that means a person of great authority or wisdom whose opinions or judgments are regarded with great respect. Oracle. Oracle. O-R-A-C-L-E. Oracle. Correct. Antiquated. Can you use it in a sentence, please? As part of the remodel, the library is updating their antiquated computer system, which has been in place since 2000. Antiquated. Antiquated. A-N-T-E-Q-U-A-T-E-D. It's incorrect. It is A-N-T-I-Q-U-A-T-E-D. Levi, if you spell this correctly, you'd be the winner. If not, we would go back into another round. Ingratiate. Ingratiate. I N G R A C I A T E. Ingratiate. That's incorrect. It is I N G R A T I A T E. Okay, Levi, we will start round seven with you. We will go back the same exact order. Boulevards. Is that plural? Yes, boulevards. Boulevards. B O U L E V A R D S. Boulevards. Correct. Laburnums. Can I have a definition, please? Plants of a small genus of poisonous shrubs and trees with bright yellow flowers. Laburnums. Can I have a definition, please? Definition, you said? Plants of small genus of poisonous shrubs and trees with bright yellow flowers. Laburnums. Laburnums. L E B U R N U M S. It's incorrect. It is L A B U R N U M S. Okay, Levi, we're back to the championship word. If you spell that correctly, you're the winner. If not, we would go into another round. Your word is crustacean. Crustacean, C-R-U-S-T-C-E-A-N, crustacean. It is incorrect. It is C-R-U-S-T-A-C-E-A-N. Okay, you're back up, Levi, as the first in that round. <laughs> this word could be confused with a similar word. Uranium. I'm looking for the word that means a silvery, heavy, radioactive, metallic element that is used primarily in atomic energy programs. Uranium. Uranium. U-R-A-N-I-U-M. Uranium. Correct. Correct. 
alpinist. Can you use it in a sentence, please? It took the alpinist several days to reach the summit. Alpinist. Can I have a definition, please? A mountain climber specializing in high, difficult climbs. Alpinist. Can you say it again, please? Alpinist. 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 A L P. E N I S T. It is A L P I N I S T. Okay, Levi, if you spell this correctly, you would be the winner. If not, we would do another round. Gladiatorial. Gladiatorial, G-L-A-D-I-A-T-O-R-I-A-L, gladiatorial. Correct. All right, congratulations, Levi. Let's give a round of applause to all of our, our participants today. It's very difficult to get up here and spell in front of other people. We will give out our trophies for our runner-up and our winner. Our runner-up from North Middle School, Kelly Burnett. And our winner from South Middle School, Levi Green. Again, we want to say thank you to South Middle School for hosting. We want to say thank you to WSON Radio and the Henderson County Public Library for supporting our students and all that they do, especially with Broadcasting This Bee, where all students in Henderson County Schools can view this exciting um, event. So thank you again.